Let me just start by saying that you might not agree with this list. Tastes and opinions vary on this topic and always will. Me and my friend Nate are both Mustang owners and Mustang lovers, and this is what we came up with for our top 10 Mustangs ever made. Number 10. The 1993 SVT Cobra R might just look like a Fox body with some Cobra badges on it, but this car represents much more than that. Its 5 liter Windsor V8 only put out 235 horsepower and 280 foot pounds of torque, but with its specially built suspension and no nonsense weight reduction from the factory, it was able to pull off a 5.9 second 0 to 60, which in 1993 was blazing fast, and was one of the few Fox bodies, if any, that were ever proven to be decent road course track cars. But that's not all that makes this Mustang special. The 1993 SVT Cobra R is one of the first vehicles ever showcased by Ford's special vehicle team. That's what SVT stands for. There, you learned something. So this car essentially represents the beginning formation of one of the greatest vehicle teams ever assembled. Only 107 of these special Fox bodies were ever made. Number 9. The 94-95 Celine S351 was a collaborative effort between Ford and Celine to remedy the lack of excitement Mustang owners were getting out of their 215 horsepower GTs. On top of the 360 degree cosmetic attention to detail tastefully tweaked by the Celine team and a host of suspension upgrades to make this pony handle like a race car, these Mustangs were fitted with a modified version of the F-150 Lightning's 5.8 liter V8 which Celine had pumping out 371 horsepower and 422 foot-pounds of torque. Or you could get it with the optional Vortex Supercharger for a 90s mind-blowing 480 horsepower. Celine made a version of the S351 all the way up through the early 2000s, so although rare, they are not impossible to find. Number 8. The 2000 SVT Cobra R was not only the fastest production Mustang ever made at that time, but it was a true race car made for the street. Everything was stripped out of this car that wasn't necessary for the track. There wasn't even a radio in here. Basically, Recaro racing seats, a steering wheel, and a shifter were your interior. With a bunch of excess weight already thrown out, the special vehicle team added a specially designed front wind splitter and high-mounted rear wing paired with an impressively built suspension and brake setup to help give this car the downforce and stability it needed at any speed. Speaking of speed, the 5.4 liter 32 valve V8 put out 385 horsepower and 385 foot-pounds of torque, preparing this rare pony to 60 in just 4.4 seconds and allowing a top speed of about 170 miles an hour. Only 300 of this special model were ever made, and all of them are red, but you'll often find a bunch of botched Mustang GTs converted into poor Cobra R clones readily available on Craigslist. Number 7. The original Bullet is one of the most iconic Mustangs known around the world. This Highland Green 1968 Mustang GT Fastback was driven by Steve McQueen in the movie Bullet. From the outside, the Bullet Mustang was a no-frills, all-business Mustang, but between its showcased performance and handling abilities in the movie, the fact that it was Ford's gorgeous fastback body style, and the use of what are now only referred to as Bullet Wheels, the combination turned out to be one of the most copied and sought-after Mustangs ever, including two reintroductions of the Bullet by Ford in 2001-2002, and again in 2008. Steve McQueen didn't put the Mustang on the map, the Mustang's been successful since its birth in 64 and a half, but the Bullet Mustang did help solidify the Mustang in everyone's mind as one of the most badass cars roaming the streets. Number 6. The new GT350R might be the best Mustang ever made. The only reason it's on the lower half of this list is because it hasn't been around long enough to be an influence to other models or to prove its spot in history as being one of the best Mustangs ever made. But one thing is for sure, in the short time that the GT350R has been around since its introduction in 2016, it has done nothing but impress every automotive journalist, car reviewer, race car driver, and Mustang enthusiast that it's come across. It uses a specially built, naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V8 with a flat plane crank producing 526 horsepower and 429 foot-pounds of torque, allowing a 3.5 second 0 to 60 time. But this car isn't just about 0 to 60 times their impressive engine specs. Every piece of this car, right down to the carbon fiber wheels, was created to be the very best that modern engineering has to offer, making this one of the best cars ever tested on the track for acceleration, handling, and braking. On top of being one of the sexiest Mustangs ever made, it truly is a mechanical marvel and a new benchmark in performance that's going to be hard to beat. Number 5. The Mach 1 was only one of the kick-ass Mustangs offered from Ford back in 1969-1970, and it was an icon right from the start. Using the fastback body as its platform, the Mach 1 sported all kinds of unique styling touches that made it a desirable car right out of the factory. One of these unique flares was the shaker hood, 
which was a functional hood scoop that came out through the hood, giving you the sense that something serious was under the hood, and something serious was. You could get this car with a 2 valve 351 or a 4 valve 351, or if that wasn't enough for you, there was an optional 390, and if that wasn't enough for you, you could get the Mach 1 with a 428 Cobra Jet. A beefed up competition suspension was also added to the Mach 1 to make sure that this baby not only looked great and went fast in a straight line, but could also handle some twists and turns. This model was so popular that Ford brought it back in 2003-2004, keeping many of its iconic styling touches including the shaker hood. Number 4. The Early 90s 5 liter Fox Bodies 1990-1993 specifically, because from 86 to 89, there were fuel injected 5 liter Mustangs out there, but Ford didn't seem to really have all the bugs worked out of the EFI system until around 1990. Now I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, wait, did this guy just put one of the most common Mustangs ever above a Mach 1, a GT350R, a Celine, a Bullet, and two Cobras? Yes, and here's why. Let me start by saying that I owned two of these machines, and I thought it was one of the ugliest Mustangs ever made, besides the late 70s, early 80s monstrosities. What the fuck is and that? I always thought its high-speed aerodynamics felt comparable to a bread truck, but there are just some things about the 5-liter Fox body that are undeniable. First of all, power to weight. Honestly, I could just drop the mic right there, but I'll keep going. This was one of the lightest Mustangs ever made, so even with horsepower ratings in the low 200s, it was king of the streets back in its day. Its performance and overall success are even factors in why Toyota worked so hard to create its most iconic Supra. Even die-hard Chevy guys buy up Fox Body Mustangs and drop all kinds of Chevy power plants in them because it's one of the best lightweight drag racing platforms ever produced. The 5 liter V8s put out in the 90s were bulletproof engines that could take a beating without breaking a sweat. And it's not uncommon to find original 5 liter Mustangs for sale to this day with well over 200,000 miles on the odometer. Add that fact to the aftermarket parts available for these things are in abundance, and the fact that making one faster than a rocket ship is dirt cheap, and it truly is one of the most bang for your buck and most successful Mustangs ever built. Number 3. The 0304 Cobra, also known as the Terminator, was and still is one of the most badass Mustangs of all time. This is the car that made factory added superchargers okay. This is the car that really sparked the modern day muscle car wars that started in the early 2000s and still rage on today. Ford's modular 32 valve 4.6 liter V8 was not only good at its factory 400 horsepower, but the internals were so good that you often see these cars today with bigger superchargers putting out 500-600 horsepower on the stock bottom end. And it wasn't just another Mustang with Cobra badges and a better motor, no. This car was designed from the ground up by Ford's special vehicle team, with upgraded suspension components including an independent rear suspension, body panels that were specific to the Terminator, a 6-speed manual transmission rather than Ford's reliable but overused T5, and a whole host of other goods that not only made this car the king in 0304, but make it still one of the most sought after Mustangs out there, often selling for over $20,000 when you find them on the used market. Number 2. The 1967 Shelby GT500 needs no introduction. It's the reason why Eleanor in Gone in 60 Seconds, portrayed as the holy grail of vehicles, was based on a 67 GT500. Ford had set out to create a specialty Mustang that looked like performance and proved to be performance. From its extended nose and grille mounted driving lights to its side scoops, fiberglass rear spoiler and GT500 striping, this was unmistakably a specialty car. Under the hood you got a 428 cubic inch V8 which was very underrated at 355 horsepower. The looks and performance of this car back in the late 60s was the stuff of legends and that legend continued to trickle down through Ford's Mustang line for the rest of time, influencing design and performance standards for almost every Shelby to follow. The 67 GT500 was as fast as it was beautiful and quickly became one of the most sought after collector cars in the world, not just among Ford fans, but among all automotive fans. And the numbers speak for themselves. Haggerty claims the current value of a 67 GT500 to be at over $200,000 if you find one mint at an auction. Number one. The 1969-1970 Boss 429 Mustang is one of the most badass vehicles ever made by anybody ever. The exterior styling of the Boss 429 is what any car guy thinks of when he thinks muscle car, and it had the performance to match. Its 429 cubic inch V8 was underrated at 375 horsepower, so underrated that some enthusiasts and owners say that the actual horsepower put out by this beast was closer to 600. The Boss 429 was a direct result of Ford's need to produce at least 500 production cars using an engine that was developed for use in NASCAR at the time. 
The engine was so large and so powerful that it actually wouldn't fit properly in the pre-existing Mustang, so they had to build this monster from the ground up to accommodate the size and power of this legendary motor. The result was 1,358 Boss 429 Mustangs built and released to the public, and one of the most sought after cars on the planet still to this day. A car so beautiful and so fast that its looks and performance are rivaled by few cars ever made, even to this day. I want to give a big shout out to Nate Dog, my resident Mustang expert, who did have some influence in my decisions on this list. I'd also like to encourage everybody watching to leave your comments below and tell me what Mustangs you thought should have been on this list if any were missing, and tell me which Stang you thought should have grabbed the number one spot. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. There will be a ton of new Ultimate Top 10 videos coming your way very soon. Also, if you're a fan of cigars, coffee, or watches, check out my other channel, Should I Smoke This? And if there's a specific Top 10 video you'd like to see me put together, leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, 